Hi students, welcome back. Now let's go through the remaining portions of the chapter. Trace the river Indus and its tributaries. Tributaries are smaller rivers that flow into a larger river. About 4700 years ago, some of the earliest cities flourished on the banks of these rivers. Later, about 2500 years ago, cities developed on the banks of the Ganga and its tributaries and along the sea coast. So, coming to the life of people at the banks of river Indus and its tributaries. Okay, what do you mean by tributary? Yes, they are the small river. So, here the river Indus is the large river and there are several small rivers that flows into the large river. These small rivers are known as tributaries. So, here the large river is river Indus and the small rivers that flows into river Indus is known as tributaries. This happened almost 4700 years ago. Okay. So, we have learned that in Suleiman and Kirtar hills, people lived in villages. Isn't it? Do you remember that? Yes. In this case, people have developed the cities. So, cities were developed in, uh, for the first time on the banks of river Indus. Isn't it? Yes. After this about 2500 years ago, cities were developed on the banks of river Ganga and its tributaries and also along sea coast. So, about 4700 years ago, cities were developed on the banks of river Indus. Later, about 2500 years ago, these cities were developed on the banks of river Ganga and its tributaries and also along the sea coast. Locate the Ganga and its tributary called the Sun. In ancient times, the area along these rivers to the south of Ganga was known as Magadha, now lying in the state of Bihar. Its rulers were very powerful and set up a large kingdom. Kingdoms were set up in other parts of the country as well. So the next one is Ganga and its tributary. One of its tributaries name is Sun. So we are discussing about Ganga and its tributary Sun. So Sun is one of the small river which flows into Ganga. Isn't it? So we have learned that what we mean by tributary. Okay. So we have learned the development of village, agriculture and cities. Now comes the development of kingdom. So, towards the south of Ganga, they developed a large kingdom known as Magadha. It was a powerful, powerful kingdom and also a large kingdom. Later, several kingdoms have developed on different parts of our country. So, so far we have discussed the five places where people have lived in ancient times, isn't it? First one we have discussed about the life on banks of river Narmada. So, these people were skilled gatherers. They gathered the food items from forest. Okay. The food items such as fruits, roots, etc. Of, uh, etc. Uh, that we get from forest. So, they were just gatherers. Next, we have learned about Suleiman and Tirtar Hills. Okay. This happened almost 8000 years ago. And in this case, people have started small, small agricultural activities such as growing crops such as wheat and barley and also rearing animals like sheep, goat and candles. And in this case, people lived in villages. Okay, this was the life in Suleiman and Kirtar Hills. Next, we have discussed about Garo Hills and Pindias. Okay, this was the place where agriculture was developed. Okay, so the next one is River Indus and its tributaries. So, about 4700 years ago, cities has developed on the banks of River Indus. Okay, so we have learned about uh, the development of villages in Suleiman and Kirtar Hills. Now, it comes to the development of cities. It happened 4700 years ago on the banks of River Indus. And about 2500 years ago, cities was also developed on the banks of river Ganga and its tributaries and also along the sea coast. Now coming to the next one, that is Ganga and its tributary Sun. This is the place where kingdom has been developed. 
so one such kingdom was magadha it was one of a powerful and a large kingdom so this is the place where kingdom has been developed and similarly so many kingdoms has been developed throughout our country okay so this is all about the life of people in various places okay so there are five places we have discussed about so each places have its own particular information so we have to remember all these i know that studying history is somewhat difficult isn't it yes i know that some of you people also don't like the subject history but what we can do we have to study it isn't it yes so i will give you one tip okay to study history just consider that what we are learning from this history textbook as a story we all like to hear story from our grandparents isn't it so just consider that oh, what all things we are learning uh, for example today we have learned about life of people in various places about five places we have learned isn't it so just think these uh, five places and what all incidents takes place in this in, uh, in this place as a story okay or for students who like movies okay just consider that consider each place as a movie and you can place your favorite actor in the lead role isn't it so you can place your favorite actor and just uh, think these uh, actors are doing all these activities in these places okay for example in banks of river namada just place your favorite actor as a as a skilled gatherer okay skilled gatherer and just think what all things he will do he will collect food items he know about the vast wealth of food from the forest and he will collect food items from the forest isn't it so like that we can remember this um, history as a movie also so there are two ways for the students who like stories they can just consider what we are learning in our history textbook as a story okay we can do that or for the students who like who love movies they can just consider the incidents that we are discussing in history book as a movie okay so it will be easy for us so while considering our history as a story or a movie we have to do one more thing we have to remember the important dates okay important dates or name of some places we have to just remember that and also make sure that all the points are included in our story or movie okay throughout people traveled from one part of the subcontinent to another the hills and high mountains including the himalayas deserts rivers and seas made journeys dangerous at times but never impossible so men and women moved in search of livelihood as also to escape from the natural disasters like floods or droughts sometimes men marched in armies conquering other lands besides merchants traveled with caravans or ships carrying valuable goods from place to place and religious teachers walked from village to village town to town stopping to offer instruction and advice on the way finally some people perhaps traveled driven by a spirit of adventure wanting to discover new and exciting places all these led to the sharing of ideas between people so so far we have discussed about several developments of the country now let's discuss on traveling so people started traveling from one part of the subcontinent to other traveling through hills mountains like himalayas deserts rivers and seas such a dangerous journey isn't it it was so difficult to travel but was never been impossible so people have started to search for livelihood to escape from the natural disasters like flood or droughts men marched in armies to conquer other lands merchants traveled with caravans or ships carrying valuable goods 
Religious teachers walked from village to village, town to town. Some traveled by the spirit of adventure to discover new and exciting places. So, in this para, we are discussing about the traveling, isn't it? So, we have discussed different groups of people who have traveled for different needs. First, we have discussed about the people who have started to search for livelihood. To escape from the natural disasters like flood and droughts. Second one, yes, about the men who marched in armies to conquer other lands. And third one, about the merchants traveling with caravans or ships carrying valuable goods. Fourth one, about the religious teachers who walked from village to village. Fifth one, about the Travelers who traveled by the spirit of adventure to discover new and exciting place. So nowadays also this type of travelers are there, isn't it? Uh, who are traveling in a spirit of adventure to discover new and exciting place. Yes, nowadays also we can see such people. So this is all about today's class. So we can meet tomorrow with the remaining portions of the chapter. So see you later. Thank you.